after Following hot on the heels of Alan McMahon's shock resignation from the Knights comes the news that Falcons supremo Ken Cole has been axed. Cole left the Falcons' nest the same way he entered, surrounded by controversy. Another chapter in the colourful history of Ken Cole was closed today. The fiery head Falcon says the side's owners left him with no option but to leave. We moved here by choice and uh, I'd like to stay but the bottom line is that they've made their change and I'm out and uh, you start all over again. When Cole started with the Falcons he could boast one of the NBL's best coaching records. He won the championship for Adelaide in 1986 and left the city with a winning average of more than 66 per cent. But the magic wore off in Newcastle. Sixth in their first year under Cole, the Falcons quickly nosedived into the ranks of the also-rans. This year they have won just two of their 15 games. Player support for Cole remains strong. I feel pretty bitter about it. I feel sad that it had to happen like that. But, um, you know, things happen and life works in mysterious ways and that's one of the ways. It is a shock to me. He's just not a coach to me. He's been quite a good friend for the last four years, a very good friend. And uh, I wish him well in everything he does. Cole is known to be considering a full-time position as coaching coordinator with the NBL, but hasn't ruled out a courtside return. He says he's already been contacted by two rival NBL clubs. I'd like to join a team that I think has legitimate aspirations of winning a national championship and uh, if that offer were to uh, be finalised over the next couple of weeks then I may very well do that. The Falcons assistant coach Tom Wisman, himself dumped by the Gold Coast last season,